Hey, it's Jamie from Jamie the Dog Trainer. Welcome to the channel. Got a really good video for you today. We're working with Caesar, the golden retriever. So he has a bit of a recall issue. So he doesn't come back, uh, particularly when there's some distractions around, birds, rabbits, all that sort of stuff, dogs, people. I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process on how to uh, achieve a really reliable recall. I hope you enjoy the video. So there's a few things that you'll need to achieve a really reliable recall. One, you just need your dog on a normal leash, but you'll also need a long line. This is an 11 meter line. You can use anything from five to sort of 15, 20 meters is not a problem at all. So part of obtaining really reliable recall is making sure that your dog's nice and responsive to their name. We do that by doing a simple engagement exercise. What we do, if your dog's distracted on the ground, I've put some uh, food down there, I might go, Caesar. Yes! And as soon as we get a response, we're going to mark and reward. You'll notice I use a marker, I use the word yes, which signals to Caesar that a reward's coming. So if I go, Caesar, yes, good. So all we're doing here is every time he's unfocused, I'll call Caesar, yes. As soon as we get a response, I'm going to mark and reward. So I want his name to mean really good stuff. As soon as he hears his name, jackpot reward. So that means he starts to become extra responsive to that. Caesar, yes. Good boy. You can see that quick response as soon as he hears his name. That's what we want to see before we can move to the next step. Step two of obtaining a reliable recall is making sure that your dog actually understands the recall cue. We do this by uh, using an exercise called elastic recalls. Start off on a leash and then we progress to a longer leash. Ideally, on like something like a six foot leash is fine. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure he's nice and focused initially. I'm going to throw a treat to the ground. He's going to go get it and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to recall him. So I'll throw the treat. Goes all the way out. Once he gets the treat, I'm going to go, Caesar, come. I'm going to come all the way in. Yes. I'm going to mark and then I'm going to throw the treat out. Caesar, come. Good boy. Yes. You'll notice I don't feed him the treat when he comes in. I use the run out as a bit of a reward and then he goes and gets the treat and it gives me an opportunity to recall him back again. Yes. So the dog bands in and out. Caesar, come. Good boy. The reason I really like this, uh, this exercise, Caesar, come, is because I can do about 20 or 30 recalls, yes, in a really short period of time. So we can really quickly reinforce a lot of recalls. Caesar, come. Good boy. Good. Yes. And we can get it really reliable really quickly. What we've done now is we're, we're doing the same exercise, but we're progressing, progressing to a long line. You can just attach it to the end of your leash or to the collar. It's completely up to you. So I've got uh, Caesar at the moment on an 11 meter line. What I'll do, yes, I'll throw the treat right out. He's going to go and get it. He's going to go all the way out. And I'm just extending the distance. Caesar, come. Comes all the way in. Good boy. Yes. We throw the treat out. He goes and gets it. And we just keep repeating. Caesar. Come. Good boy. Yes, it's important that the dog comes in and stops. If the dog doesn't come in and stop, we don't have control, so we want to get, really get him into the habit. Caesar, come. Of coming in and stopping. Yes, it means if I have to in an emergency situation, I can quickly put the leash on. The other thing a long line is really good for is for emergency purposes. Keeps your dog safe. It means that your dog, dog's not going to run off and get themselves into trouble. The final step is starting to recall your dog when they're distracted and in different environments. We're going to take you on a bit of a walk with Mr. Caesar. I'll show you what to do when he doesn't respond, which is really important, uh, particularly with the long line. Uh, we've got something that we can uh, still get the dog to comply to a recall. If we don't have him on a long line and he doesn't respond and goes straight to a tree or something like that, we're effectively reinforcing him for not listening. Uh, so we've got to make sure that we use the long line effectively. So what we do now, uh, we, take your dog for, we take your dog for a little bit of a walk, we're taking Caesar for a bit of a spin and we're just proofing his recall. Um, just getting him out and about, chucking in a recall every now and then, getting him used to cruising around and then I'll chuck in a recall. So just here, Caesar, come. <laughs> good boy, good. And as soon as he comes in, we mark and reward. Caesar, come. So in a scenario where I don't get a response, I can then bring him in on the leash. We have got a nice response anyway. Yes. And what we do uh, after each session, you objectively assess his recall. So we go, okay, how many times uh, has he responded? Uh, if he's responded really well, 20 times out of 20, then we can start to have him off leash. If he struggles with that, and we're getting sort of 14 or 15 out of 20, that's when we take him back, um, put him back on the long line. So that's a quick lesson on how to obtain a really reliable recall. Keep working hard, keep training, and you'll get the results. Hope you liked the video. If you've got any specific questions about recall, don't forget to drop them in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys soon.